STEAM. STEAM is an acronym that stands for five core subject areas, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. One common misconception about STEAM is that as long as each subject is covered separately in the classroom, teachers are using a STEAM model. This is false. The key component of STEAM is the integration of all of these subject areas together. A true STEAM lesson requires students to use their knowledge of science, technology, engineering, the arts, math, all together to complete one given task. STEAM is everywhere around us, whether we realize it or not. We use STEAM when we are cooking, when we are navigating, and even when students are simply playing outside. Most jobs require that we work in a team setting, we critically think, and we use creativity. STEAM enhances student skills in all of these areas. There are many different types of learning that can be incorporated with STEAM. This is where you all as educators can really encourage students' growth and learning by actually doing hands-on activities. Group work can be incorporated here, which will help with the overall participation with every child involved. When we talk about inquiry-based learning, we are talking about how students can make their own choices based off of their personal interests. In inquiry-based learning, students start with a question first. The teacher acts as more of a facilitator here to help guide with, with students' learning instead of telling them what to do. This helps with students being in control of their own learning. Process-based learning helps students follow a set of steps to solve their problem. An example of this is called the design thinking process, which you will learn more about later in the presentation. Here, the students focus on following a routine. STEM is something that can be incorporated with all ages, grades, and developmental levels. STEAM is something that can be differentiated for all different levels based off the individuality of that student. These activities be can become more in-depth and complex as they grow in their education. STEAM activities do not have to be fancy or complicated. Teachers can come up with their own STEAM activities just by using different things around them, such as paper towel rolls, recyclables, plastic bags, and foil, just to name a few. While using these inexpensive items, you can design towers with toilet paper rolls, small toy boats and planes out of aluminum and paper, catapults out of rubber bands, stethoscopes out of tape and funnels, and so much more. It all depends on how creative you and your students are willing to get. Remember, the technology part of STEAM doesn't always have to mean things like computers, iPads, and phones. Technology can be anything handmade, just like the items that I mentioned above. STEAM can have such a positive impact on, in the classroom when it's incorporated. Overall, learning can be more fun for students and teachers. Critical thinking skills are strengthened in the processes as well as collaboration with other students and participation. STEAM really gives students the chance to be innovative thinkers while being as creative as possible.